Hi everyone, I'm a new Catherine fertility physician and Dr. Mom, and here to educate on fertility. I will occasionally get the question in clinic, if we do IVF, can we put back two embryos? This is a topic that most REIs feel very strongly about, so let's talk about this today. <music> misconception is that IVF puts patients more at risk for twins and multiple gestations. This is actually not the case. So one treatment option called IUI, which stands for intrauterine insemination, what that involves is usually patients will take some medicines, for example, Clomid or Letrozole, and the goal being to grow two to three eggs usually. And then we will inject the sperm into the uterus, aiming for the top of the uterus. And theoretically speaking, there are a few eggs that could meet a few sperm and re result in multiple gestations. There is less control with IUI for the risk of multiple gestations. And generally speaking, the risk is about five to 8% for twins, but that will depend also on the woman's age and her ovarian reserve. Now with IVF, the premise with that is women will take injections to stimulate the ovaries to grow multiple eggs. And then we will remove the eggs with a minor surgical procedure called an egg retrieval. The eggs will then be in the lab, the egg and sperm meet in the lab, and then we have an embryo. And then we'll put the embryo back into the uterus at a later time. So with IVF, there is that control of making sure only one embryo makes it back into the uterus. And so the risk of twins is less compared to IUI. There is still a small risk of twins, even with IVF and even with putting one embryo back in because the embryo could split. However, it is very low risk. It's about one to 2%. So the risk of twins and multiples is less with IVF compared to IUI. With the advent of PGT, which stands for pre-implantation genetic testing, we have the ability to screen embryos to determine which embryos are genetically normal. And once we get to a genetically normal embryo, our success rate is about 60 to 70%. And this is considered quite high. So most REIs will recommend putting one embryo back in at a time because of this. Now, if we put one embryo back in, our risk of twins is about one to 2% because that embryo could split, so considered pretty low. If we put two embryos back in, our risk of twins increases to about 50%. So that is a significant increase in the risk of twins. And this is not our goal. Our goal is one healthy mom and one healthy baby. Now let's go over some of the risks of twins and why twins or multiple gestations are not our goal. Twins and multiple gestations come with risk. The more the babies, the more the risks. For example, triplet pregnancies are gonna have more risk than twin pregnancies. But generally speaking, some of these risks are risk to mom during the pregnancy. So hypertensive disorders such as preeclampsia, diabetes, C-section delivery, postpartum hemorrhage, risk to baby, there could be growth restriction. If they're sharing the same placenta, there could be twin to twin transfusion syndrome, meaning basically there's not an even blood flow supply to both babies. There's risk of preterm delivery Delivery. And so if the babies are born early, there could be, depending on when they're born, neurological problems, brain bleeds, lung problems, long-term disability, NICU admissions. And again, depending on how early the babies were born, the babies may not survive. So we don't want to set ourselves up for any of these risks. So that's why our goal is always one healthy mom and one healthy baby. So as an REI, we are always aware of the risk of twins and multiple gestations and doing our very best to avoid that outcome. For example, with IUI, we will choose the dosages and the medicines very carefully based on the woman's age, her ovarian reserve, and her BMI. We will monitor that patient closely with blood work and ultrasound. And if there is a risk of multiple gestations, meaning if there are too many follicles there, we will cancel the cycle and tell the patient not to have intercourse because we don't want to put that patient at increased risk for multiple gestations. And with IVF, we have the control of putting one embryo back in at a time. So we have the ability to decrease the risk of twins and multiple gestations. And with the advent of PGT, that has really also helped us with increasing our success rates and still putting one embryo back in at a time. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.